I am like many other students commuting to and from university. However, I have a disability and like many others that have a disability, it is extremely challenging. Karen travels to and from Kingston University on a regular basis. Day to day I um, use um, Transport for London but I use like I mainly use the London buses. Yeah. Now um, they're brilliant but uh, if there's a faulty ramp and I you know I hate that but then like I think I kind of my first trip on a bus in a wheelchair the ramp broke down so I kind of got over that really quickly but um, I find that now when you're on the buses there's kind of a hatred between yourself and a pushchair because it's kind of like they don't understand like that it, you're the priority mm. it's really noisy only 20 percent of underground stations have step-free access from train to street tfl offers free travel mentoring service for people who travel on their own for the first time and a freedom pass for those with disabilities or those over 66 there is no data or feedback on how effective TfL's current approach is. I, however, use a different form of transport, which is provided by a private company that allow people like myself to get to and from places like university. One of the companies I use is Mobility Taxis. Hi, I'm Gary and um, I'm a community driver. We offer a really good service, so, and I think it's a service that helps people. It's not a service where we're just like a taxi firm. It's, it's rewarding on both sides, it's rewarding for them, but it's also rewarding for us. It seems like we're always constantly doing good deeds, which is, um, it, it makes, well, me personally, it makes me feel good, yeah. To understand how the Mobility Taxis came to be, we talked to the owner, Lee Lawrence. Back in 1985, which is 31 years ago, um, my mum, she was shot, um, wrongfully shot by the police. And as a result of that, she ended up being paralysed and confined to a wheelchair. The shooting of Lee's mother, Cherry Gross, led to the 1985 Brixton riots. Lee was 11 years old at the time. So as soon as I could drive, I learned to drive. Then I became responsible for transporting my mum around. We were trying to do it in a normal standard car yeah. and we'd have to lift her out of her bed into her wheelchair, out of the wheelchair, wow. into the car, back out of the car, into the wheelchair. Sure. I felt if there was a company that specialised in this type of transportation, yeah, they would have put my mind at ease. Yeah. Why not look at how you can create a service that other people can benefit from all that Cherry Gross's legacy lives on through the Cherry Gross Foundation, which Lee set up in 2014. London Mayor Sadiq Khan recently announced that his goal for 2022 is to make 40% of London Underground Network step free. Until this process has been made, mobility taxis will continue to provide easy and safe transport for those with physical disabilities.